Hey everyone, this is Mary from SVG Cuts, and I'm here today with some really fun stuff for Christmas. Our Christmas train is really cool, and I think even if you just made the front of it by itself, it would make a really awesome centerpiece, decoration, or gift. And the top opens up and you can put some, some goodies or a gift in there. Or since the windows are vellum, you could put a little electronic LED tea light in there if you wanted to light it up, as well as in the caboose too. So this is gonna be really fun to make however you want it to look with whatever kind of Christmas papers and colors you want. And this little middle container, obviously you can just put some stuff in here. If you wanna make these two little packages and put something fun in there, you can too. So that is gonna make someone's day for sure. I think no matter what age they are, if it's a young person, older person, really anyone is gonna think this is super awesome. So again, you could put something in here or you could put electronic tea light candles in there too to light it up. So we also have a cute little large gift box, which is similar to these little small ones, but big enough to use for a larger gift. And you could also use that all year round. It doesn't have to be for Christmas, just because it's Christmas paper, it looks Christmassy. And then finally, to coordinate with everything, we have a super cute vintage Santa Claus card. So on this, you could even just use the, the square Santa element on like the front of a gift bag or maybe on the inside of a, on a scrapbook page or something. So that is really cute too. And you could also make the Santa like almost any size that you want if it fits on your mat. So the paper that I used this time is by My Mind's Eye and they're one of my favorite paper companies. <clears throat> it just seems like every time they come out with something, I usually love it and I usually want to work with it. So this paper is nice and glittery and pretty and it also comes with some stickers that are really fun. So I love when it comes with stickers like that because I feel like you could just make a really simple square card and just use a, a really pretty sticker or make some gift tags or something. So they also have some really cute little coordinating buttons and brads. But like I always say, whatever kind of Christmas paper you want to use is going to look awesome. Maybe you already have some in your stash from last year or you've got your eye on something. So I've got my pieces cut out to show you how these four three-dimensional items go together. So let's get started. So first of all, let's start off with our locomotive. And right now, let's just take a look at the lid only. We'll do the bottom in a little bit. So I've got the main pieces of my lid laid out here. And as you can see on these two train looking pieces, I went ahead and glued my vellum on the back side of those. And you can kind of get an idea of how it's going to go together when you see it laid out like this. So to get started, let's go ahead and pick up our first train side here. And I'm gonna put some glue on this top tab and I want to glue this into place. And we want to make sure that it's going not this way, but this way. And as you can see, one side of it is a little bit curved and the other side is flat. We want the curved part to be facing towards the back of the train. So we can go ahead and glue that into place. And now let's, let's work our way around the front of the train a little bit. So next I want to put the, the face of the train on, and that is these two pieces here. So these get glued together by putting some glue on this smaller one and gluing that into place. And then we'll close it up by putting some glue on this tab here. So next, <clears throat> we can go ahead and put the dimensional piece here on the front of our train, which is this piece here. And it doesn't matter which way you turn it, all of the sides are equal in size. So to put this on, I'm going to put glue on all of these tabs. <coughs> And I'm just going to work my way around one at a time, gluing each one of these. And in, instead of going around in a circle, I'm going to jump over to the opposite side and 
line that up and glue that. Because sometimes if you work your way around in a circle, it might be a little bit off, and then when you get to where you started, it doesn't quite line up. So in this case, I would like to jump around a little bit. And we just want to get all of those glued into place. You can take your time a little bit more than I am right now. I'm just kind of trying to hurry up a little bit since I'm filming a video right now. Okay, and then this gets pushed in a little bit because as you can see, it's kind of pushed in on the, in the center. So now we can go ahead and glue the front onto the side that we started with, like this. And then I can take my other side and put glue on the front of the train there. And I'm just doing my best to line it up as perfectly as possible so that everything fits together just right. And now I will take the back side of my train, which looks like this, and that's going to be this piece here. So for this one, I actually want these folded areas to fold towards me and then away from me. So it helps to have those going in the right direction from the beginning. So next I'm going to glue this guy into place and then I can go ahead and sort of close the loop here by taking the first piece that I started with and gluing the back side into place on it. So next, I'm going to close up the roof here by putting some glue on this top tab. gluing that into place. And as always, I'm just lining it up as, as perfectly as I can. And now, now I'm going to put this back piece in place, which is just a, a flat piece, which goes right here. So I want to glue that onto my train right there. So I'm going to start by just doing a couple tabs at a time here. And just taking it slow and just lining it up, giving it a chance to dry before I move on to the other one. And I'm kind of pinching it from the inside there. And then I can get some glue up inside on these other tabs. And I'm going to go ahead and put glue on the rest of the tabs because it might start getting a little tricky to get the glue on the tabs. <coughs> but I'm still just going to work my way around just one at a time. And the more that I glue into place, the more the whole thing starts to just kind of fall into place, which makes it a little bit easier to glue it all down. Okay, so now this other piece here, which looks similar to the last piece that we used, this is just going to get glued right onto the front of our train with these five tabs here. <coughs> so again, I just want to, I'm going to go ahead and put glue on all five of these tabs. And I want to make sure that my glue goes 
all the way out to the corners of each little tab. And I'm just going to work my way down this line of tabs. Actually, I'm going to I'm jumping ahead to this middle one here so that it lines up nicely. And then I've got these final two. <clears throat> and you can be even more <clears throat> meticulous with your project than I am right now. But that, that'll do for demonstration purposes. So as you can probably guess, next you just want to pop this guy into place. And it can go like this or like this. It doesn't matter. So I'm going to start by only gluing one of these very long tabs into place. And then I will go ahead and put glue on the rest of them. <coughs> and glue those into place too. So there we go with the nice long one. It's going to hold that in the right position as I glue the rest of it. So now all you want to do is put glue on the rest of these guys and fold this over into place. So I've got glue on all of those tabs and I'm just pushing everything into place and pushing up from the inside to make sure that my glue is taking hold in all the right places. Okay. So there is the lid of our train. And now we can go ahead and put some of these nice panels on the side. So as you can see, there's one large one here with one decorative one there. There's a curved one over the top and a curved one over the roof. And there's also one right on the front. And then again, one large one with one decorative one. So I'm not going to put all of those on right now. Just I'm just going to put this curved one on right now. This one works in the same way. So this just goes right across the top. And the only trick to know is that we only want to put glue on the, the edges of it along these two long sides. That way the paper has a chance to really get a nice curve. Because if we were to glue the whole entire thing down, it might not curve as nicely. So as you can see, it's not, it's not glued right along the edge. There's a little border around the bottom and the sides. And once that's dry enough, I can go ahead and curve it over and glue this side down too. So like I said before, the, this roof part here goes on in the same way. And now let's take a look at this front part here. That's going to go right on the front. And it's just this little guy here. So these two sides right here just meet up and it looks like all one piece. So we just want to glue that right on. Getting a nice thin even layer of glue. And then just doing my best to place it right in the center and to get those two sides to meet up just right. And then I can go ahead and put some kind of fun button or something on there. I think it's nice if you pick one, if you have a button that looks kind of sparkly or some kind of bling, it looks like a nice little headlight. So finally, we've got these two little chimney pieces, which are... I seem to have lost the top of my smaller one here, but it looks it looks just like this, but this goes on the other one, which is this cone-shaped one. So first, let's take a look at this little shorter one here. So this goes around like this, and then we can fold all these over and put glue on all these tabs and put 
this piece right into place. Then you want to flip it over and put glue on the whole entire bottom. And then just carefully center that right into place and hold it as it dries. Then for the other one, it's very similar. This is the larger cone-shaped chimney. And we just want to close that up. And again, just put glue on all of these top tabs and put this right into place. And then to put it on top of our train, we just want to load up these two little triangles with glue. And we want these two to be going out like this. And again, just place that right carefully in the center and hold on to it until it dries. So then as you can see, the rest of these panels just go on pretty straightforward right on the side and everything. And now we can go ahead and take a look at the bottom. So next for the bottom of our locomotive, here is just the finished bottom of my locomotive. And we're just gonna put together the main pieces of it here, which are these two long pieces and then two other long pieces, one of which is just the bottom here, which goes on like that. And the slightly smaller one goes on the inside at the end to finish it off. And then we've got three pieces like this, which make up the front of it. And as you can see, there's numbers on the bottom and your machine will have cut those numbers into your pieces so you can see those numbers too. I just went ahead and darkened them in with a marker for this video. So this is the back of the locomotive and let's start putting it together here. I'm gonna start by putting it together the front and the front of my finished one is covered up with some panels to look nice and smooth but underneath are these three pieces here. So I'm going to start by taking piece number one and putting glue on all of the tabs along the side. And I'm going to grab piece number two here and just work my way up one tab at a time until they are glued together. And I can go ahead and do the same thing to glue piece number two to piece number three. And I want to make sure that each tab gets a, a little bit of a chance to dry before I move on to its neighbor. So there's the front of our train. Now let's go ahead and glue that onto one of our sides. So now which side is which? We can tell because you can see this, this right angle here, that is the back because the back kind of sticks out a little bit. So that means that this is, this is this side here. So I want to glue my front right onto the front of this piece. So to do that, I've got one, two, three, four tabs to put glue on here. And like I did before, I'm just going to work my way up the whole thing one at a time. And I'm just doing my best to line it up as perfectly as possible. And it just kind of falls into place. So next I can glue the front of my train, the front of this other side right on to these tabs here. So I'm going to put glue on all four of them and work my way up. So I, I don't want to glue it right to this, this first one here because that's a bottom tab. I want to glue it to the next, the next place right here. 
and just carefully work my way up the whole side. Okay, so now the back, this back piece here goes like this, as you can see, and that's going to get glued right onto the side like this. So let's go ahead and put glue on these tabs, starting with this tiny little triangle and then this longer one and then these two little triangles. And same principle, just slightly different, different shapes that are getting glued together. And you want to do your best to, to line it up as, as best you can and be real meticulous. But on the other hand, you are going to be kind of covering up a lot of it with some panels that are decorative. So of course you always want to start with a, a, nice, a nice base. But if you've got a couple little little boo-boos here and there, it's not, hopefully it's not the end of the world. Okay, so let's just close this up by doing the same thing here. And then these two triangles are on the opposite side. So I've just got two to glue into place here. And once these are dry enough to let go of, I'm going to just close this up here. Like this. Okay, not bad. So at this point, I can go ahead and well, let's fix this. My little triangle came unglued here. So at this point, I'm going to take my two bottom pieces here and I want to grab the one that's a little bit larger that's the official bottom and to put that in place I just want to put glue on all of these tabs that are all on the same the same plane here just one big flat surface and like I said before you can be even more meticulous with your glue because when I'm sitting at my my regular craft table and I'm working on my my real projects I am extra careful with my glue and I really get to uh, see when I'm filming this video I can't really stick my my head close to my project because then it would be in the way of the camera so that's why I like to say you can always be more meticulous because you don't have a camera over your shoulder. Okay, so there's our bottom. Here's our liner that just gets glued on one side and placed right in the bottom to finish it off. So next, let's take our panels here. And as you can see, this one gets glued right onto the side. Slightly different paper, but same idea. So let's go ahead and stick this into place real quick. I'm just gonna just stick it on here real quick without taking too much time to make it perfect. So there's our panel. This one goes right onto the back. And then there's another one on this side. And then for the front, as you can see on my finished one, on the front there are three panels and those, let's see, yep, if, you, if you're not sure where they go, you can kind of hold it up and see where they go. Like if I do it the wrong way, I can see that it's not lined up right, so I can tell that this goes this way. And to make sure that the paper has a nice curve, I'm going to only put glue on the top and the bottom. And I'm going to just glue, glue those right into place. 
So you'll just do the same thing with the middle panel as well as the other side panel. So next, let's take a look at the wheels of our train. So we've got four pieces that look like this that make up one wheel. So each wheel is four layers thick plus a decorative panel. So I have four pieces that look like this to make one large wheel. So I like to just get a, a pretty even layer of glue there and line it up. And you can kind of feel the edges. You can feel that they're lined up properly. And these, this is already two glued together, so there's all four glued together. And now I can put a little bit of glue just on the top and line up this hole with this hole here. And then you can finish it off with a nice brad. So the same principle applies to the smaller wheels. I went ahead and glued four of these together. I'm going to put a little glue just on the top and I want this, these two lines to be parallel to the ground. And then I can just finish that off with a brad also and put the rest of my wheels on. Of course with the decorative panels on also. So finally we've got our little piece that looks like this which goes on like this. As you can see, these two are straight, and then this one is kind of bent up a little bit. That means that it goes on this side. The other one is a mirror image on the other side. And if you want to, you can put some little decorative brads in these holes. And I, I just kind of folded them over, because you know the brad would be sticking out the side. So I actually trimmed it off with some really heavy duty scissors that I have, so that you wouldn't see the end of the brad sticking out. So finally, for our locomotive here, I've got these two pieces that are the, uh, the cow catcher, as they say, to uh, shove the cows off the train tracks, supposedly. And it's two layers thick, and as you can see, I just glued them together like this. And then I want to bend this over and put glue on these tabs here. And then as you can see, it's just glued on right onto the bottom like that. So to do that, I just want to get this middle one centered as best I can and then and then I'll just hold those other two and just kind of hold on to it for a little while as it dries. And there is the bottom of your locomotive. So next for our coal car, it's super simple. And you want to go ahead and put your panels on your two main pieces here like this. Actually, this is the right side up because the wheels are on the bottom, which are these little holes. So as you can see, this green and white polka dot Santa pattern. That's my my panels that go all the way around. And I think it looks nice if this little dip part is in the front. So this is the front of our little cart. So once you've got your panels on, we can go ahead and put the whole thing together, which is super easy and straightforward. So all we want to do is glue the sides together first. And then the other side after the, the first side until we close up the, the loop, so to say. And since it's just a big rectangle, we can lay it down flat to really push down on that tab. So now that those sides are all together, what we want to do is glue these large flaps over by putting some glue inside and bending it over. So all I'm doing is gluing these down like this. So go ahead and glue down your large flaps 
and that goes for all four of them. And that just kind of strengthens the top and makes it not get warped because it's a nice, stronger, stronger top. So there is our little cart. And now we can put the bottom in place. I've got two rectangles. One of the rectangles is a little bit larger than the other one. That's the bottom. So let's glue the bottom into place by putting glue on all four of these tabs and just popping that right into place. And you can kind of adjust it as it's drying and then flip it over and push down from the inside and then take this smaller rectangle and glue one side of it and put that in the bottom to finish it off. So just like we did with the locomotive, the wheels go on in the same way and each wheel is four layers thick plus the decorative panel on top plus the brads and any kind of cute little embellishments that you want to add. So now let's take a look at one of these tiny little gifts. I've got my little bow here which is three pieces and then the package itself is just all one piece. So I'm putting glue on this side tab here and gluing that into place. And then all we need to do is glue the bottom into place because there's no glue, there's no gluing on the top. It just folds closed. So we just fold the little bottom into place and there's our cute little package. And the top just closes like this. So for our little bow here, as you can see on the top of one of the gifts, your download also includes a large bow for this big gift box and they go together in the same way. It's just two different sizes. So I think it's a good idea to take a round pencil or anything round that you have and go ahead and curve these pieces that are going to be curved. Because if you don't do this part, when you go to fold it, it's going to crease. So I'm just putting some glue right in the center there and gluing this little square right into place. And then putting some more glue in the same spot and gluing the other square into place. And I can take the bottom of my bow and do the same thing with my pencil or pen or whatever you've got handy and put some glue in the center again and glue that right into place. Then you could, you could leave it just like this or you can finish it off with this little tiny piece if this is too small for you to work with, it is pretty tiny. You can just leave it off. It's not a big deal. But I'm going to put glue on the whole back side of it. Getting a little, little messy with my glue here. And you can see that it just folds around your bow. And adds a cute little finishing touch. And then you can just glue that right on top of your present. So next for our caboose, let's just take a look at the bottom of it. I went ahead and took off the lid because we're just going to look at the bottom and that is laid out here and as you can see I went ahead and glued my decorative panels on the front of most of these pieces on pieces one two and four and as you can see on the bottom of these there's a little number and your machine will have cut that out for you on your piece I just went ahead for this video and I drew it in with a marker too so I left off the decorative panel on piece number three which is the back because it's curved because first I want to put these two pieces together before I put my vellum or my decorative panel on. So to do that I just want to put some glue on all five of these tabs along the bottom here and then I just want to work my way across, gluing them in place one at a time. And there we go. 
So I wanted it to be curved before I put my vellum on. So now that it's nice and curved on the top, I can put my vellum on the back of the window. And you want to be nice and careful with your glue so that it doesn't come through the sides and you don't want it to be visible from the other side if possible. So there is our window. And I've already gone ahead and put the vellum in place on the rest of the pieces. So now I can go ahead and put my little decorative panel in place. And since this one is curved, I'm only going to put glue on the sides so that the paper can curve nicely. So I want to center this along the side here with a nice little border around the edges. Give it a chance to dry and then do the same thing on the other side. Okay, so now I've got my vellum in place, like I said, and everything's ready to go. I've got my pieces laid out one through four. So now I can go ahead and start to glue them together, which is pretty darn straightforward, actually. It's, it's really just a, a nice rectangular shape with a, a curved back. So I just put those two tabs into place. So now you just want to do that all the way around and glue all four pieces together using the two tabs between each one. So here is my caboose, almost all done here on the bottom. I'm just gluing these final two tabs into place. And now I'm going to go ahead and put my bottom in place. So I've got two pieces that look very similar here. One of them's a little bit larger. That is the bottom. And I'm going to start by I'm going to start by gluing this straight side here into place. And that's going to kind of anchor my bottom in place so that the rest of the pieces sort of fall into place. So next I'm going to go ahead and put glue on the rest of the tabs. And I want to work kind of quickly so that my glue doesn't dry before I need to start putting my pieces in place here. And I just want a nice little thin, even layer of glue going all the way out to the corners. And then <clears throat> I just want to line it up like this. I'm just kind of working my way from the front to the back, lining it up really nice, giving it a chance to dry a little bit so it doesn't shift out of place before I flip it over and push down from the inside and then once again glue my nice little liner right into place on the bottom. So there is the bottom of my caboose and once again I can put my wheels in place which are the same as all the other wheels. They are four layers thick plus the decorative panel plus the little brad and then whatever other little decorations you might want to add to your caboose. So now let's take a look at the lid of our caboose, which is, it's pretty rounded, so there are a few more pieces. And once again, as you can see, they are all, they're all numbered. And once again, your machine will have cut the number into your pieces. And once again, I went ahead and darken them in with a marker just for this video. So you don't have to do that too. I just did it so you can see the numbers. So I've got my side pieces laid out here, one, two, three, and then four through eight. And I've got my, my panels, which will go on at the end. So let's start by 
you probably guessed it, gluing these eight pieces together using these side tabs in order. So I've got piece number one and piece number two here. And just like we did with other projects, we're just working our way around, going one tab at a time and making sure that the first one had a chance to dry before, before we move on. Like for example, making sure that this one that I'm gluing here is dry enough not to shift out of place as I put the other one into place. So go ahead and work your way around with all eight pieces. So as you can see, I've got all eight of my pieces together here and I'm just closing it up using the same technique. And there is our top. So now I can go ahead and put glue on all of these tabs on the top here, which are all on the same plane, including these little small ones up here. And once again, you can be more careful with your glue than, than me. So one of these is a little bit larger. That's the top. And I'm going to first anchor it here on the, on the front. And then I will lay it down flat and put it in place and just make little adjustments as it dries. So once it's dry enough, I can flip it over, push down from the inside, and then glue this liner piece right on top. So next we've got some decorative panels, because as you can see on this finished one, it looks a lot smoother than what we just made. So there's a strip which will go on at the end, and then we've got, obviously we can tell those are the sides, that's the top, and then we've got the front, and then two pieces that go on the back. So you can, you can tell what goes where. It's helpful if maybe if you hold it up to it first before you glue it down. And as you can see, there is no border around these panels except for the top one. So that means the edges are going to be flush with each other. So let's put glue along only the bottom and only the top. That way our paper has a chance to curve nicely. If I was to completely glue it down, you would see where it was kind of folded. So there's the bottom is glued into place and then I will just roll it up and make sure that it's also flush with the top. And I've got some glue kind of sticking out everywhere, but you can take your time more than me and yours will look even better. <clears throat> so the same thing goes for the other side with this piece. And then the same principle applies for the back. We only want to put glue on the top and on the bottom and glue it like this. And then for the back here, I've got a little C shape and I'm just going to put glue on the two sides and glue that into place so that the edges are, are flush over here. They're almost touching. And then for this other sort of C shaped piece, same idea. It goes just like this. And then just to create even more of an illusion of curvature, I'm going to put this strip across the whole entire top. So to do that, I just want to put glue, maybe a line just in the center and then on the two ends. That's because we want it to curve up here and over here. So I'll just center it 
right in the center there. Give it a chance to dry and then press it down. Obviously, you want to put the top panel in place first, right in the center, and then put your strip in place, which makes it even more curvy and nice. So there's our finished top, and I went ahead and put some really fun bling all the way around the edge to make it look super cute. So finally, let's take a look at our larger little gift box. And for the bow, I, I already showed how that went together when I did the coal car. So I'm not going to show the bow, just this nice box. And it's just two main pieces. And then these rectangles are just for strengthening up the top and the bottom. So there's a rectangle glued on the inside of the top and on the inside at the bottom. So this is so easy to put together. You probably don't need to see how unless you just want to make sure, or if you maybe you're a beginner with paper crafts. But even if you're, even if you are a beginner, I think this one you could definitely figure out. So I'm just gluing them together side to side on both sides, and then I'm just going to glue the bottom closed. The top does not get glued closed. The top just folds closed. So that means for the bottom we just put some glue on all three of these tabs. Going all the way out to the corners with a nice thin, thin little even layer. And just fold that into place. Then we can go ahead and push down from the inside on those tabs. And then I can go ahead and glue one rectangle here. They're identical and glue the other one inside at the bottom. So there you have it, really fun Christmas projects, really fun Christmas train. I hope you love making it. And if you do, I would love to see your spin on it on our Facebook wall or on your blog. You can pin it on Pinterest or tweet it or Instagram it or really anything. So thanks for watching, I'll catch you next time, and happy crafting. Learn more by visiting www.svgcuts.com. Don't forget to like us on Facebook and watch all of our crafty videos on YouTube. It's a world of crafty content with you in the middle. SVGcuts.com, inspiring you to live creatively and beautifully.